Hello everyone and thanks for choosing to watch our video. So today I thought it was a good opportunity to show you how to put the Pessoa onto your horse. So um, I've actually got it all in pieces at the moment because I took it off to use the surf single the other day and it needs to go back on so I thought why not do a video. So I'm not sure how I'm going to go trying to film all of this but I might have to move the camera around a little bit. So um, if you are new here to our channel my name is Maria and this is my horse Bella and we are on a um, journey to move up through the levels of dressage. So I find using the Pessoa really helpful as it um, helps to get her moving her hind end underneath her with having the, um, not exactly what it's called, sure what it's called, I should have found that out, but by using the bumper behind her. And it also, with the pulley system, it encourages them to go long and low, um, but still giving them the freedom to be able to move their head. And um, they're not fixed into a, a, a set position like you would have with side reins. So I find it a lot um, more forgiving and just more encouraging of them to go long and low and use their back. So I've just used an old um, saddle pad which I've folded over because I don't have a Sir single pad and you know you don't want to be spending money on buying everything so you make do with what you've got in your tax shed I say. Then I've got a Sir single but I do choose to use my own separate girth. Um, I don't use the girth that came with the surf single because I'm just going to move you guys over here. And now my tripod's gone funny. Um, yeah, because I wasn't really keen on the girth that came with it. So I um, just pop that over the top. Um, quite often when you buy um, the Pessoa system, it already has um, a surf single with it. And this one did, it was my mum's actually, so it's very, very old. Um, but it still works, but the surf single had got quite um, worn out. So I've just replaced it with this, with this one. So we'll just fit the surf single to Bella. And we do our little stretching. Oh, Bell, your lead rope's a bit short. There we go. Oh, big stretches today. Getting your yoga on, Belly. Bell, can you move your bottom? Can you move your bottom, my darling? Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Perfect. Good girl. Now you can see her a bit better. Good girl, Bell. So, this is the Pessoa all um, kind of pulled apart and it looks all very confusing. But if you remember, this bit obviously goes around the rump underneath the tail and this piece here attaches to the back of the sur single. So I'm very lucky in that Bella is a very calm horse. but not too impressed about being worked this morning. So I'm just gonna try and lift you up here. And as you can see, I've just attached it to that ring at the back there. And then for now, I'm just gonna leave that there on her bottom while I put the rest of it together. So we have now two ropes. This one is for the near side. So again, because Spell is so good, I'm just gonna drop that on the other side there and she's not gonna worry about it. So then we have the, the pulley, the ring. So that will go through this one here, the big ring. And put the clip through as well, because this clip then attaches to the bit, and then this clip attaches either back to um, your surf single, whichever level you want, depending on where you want your head carriage, 
I always tend to pop it underneath. There's a clip, there's a, um, a D ring underneath which you can attach it to, and so then that encourages that long and low head carriage. So I'm just going to do that on the other side. So again, so now we're on the near side. So we've got our rope and we're going to put all of that through the big ring here on the sur single. Whoops. So again, this piece will attach to the bit when she has the bridle on and then this piece here I will then attach, I might just hook it to the head collar. Well, the sun's not in a very good spot is it? And then that will then go through to between her chest and do up to the D ring at the bottom there. What do you think Belle? So I will put her bridle on so you can see it all done up and also I can show you where the tail piece goes. We'll just do those clips up there for now. Good girl, Belle. Oh, such a good girl, aren't you? goes the bridle in the bit. I mean bridle, bridle goes on, bit goes in the mouth. Okay so bridle is on so now we will attach, oh, I might do the bum piece first. I haven't done one of these how-to videos really before. So here we have, so I don't like to have mine too loose and this might take a bit of time for your horse to get used to having something behind their bottom. It did for Bella, she wasn't real keen at the beginning um, but she has come to um, accept it now. So I don't like it too loose. They say sort of between sort of the tail and the hock and it's just to encourage the um, hind end, the hamstrings, the hocks to come up underneath. And so then with the pulley system, that then runs up through this ring here and then um, I just clip them there when that's not in use. Then this piece attaches to the bit. This is hard to do on your own. And then this ring will then attach to the D ring. <laughs> Hello, darling. Underneath. And so then she is all move it back a bit. Ready to go. So you can see then if she moves her head, she can move her head up and down. But this will just encourage her to be in that nice forward down position going to sleep. We're going to go do some work, Bella. So I hope you found that interesting. I hope you um, it was helpful for you to be able to pop your Pessoa on and um, stay tuned for the next video. If you like this one, please give it a like, maybe leave me a comment and if you don't already, subscribe to our channel. Bye for now. Trot. Up, 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 up. Oh.